Israelite. Israelite. I'm an Israelite. You an Israelite? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you are Israelite. What's your nationality? Black. You're black. So you see on the see on this sign where it says the tribe. Yeah. Where it say Black American. What 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 it say you are? So you're from the tribe of Judah. Prime. That's right. You being a Black American, you'll be from the tribe of Judah. That's right. Do you know how how we you know how we determined that that you from that you are an Israelite? What what's some of the things what's some of the things that happened to us since we've been in this land? Our freedom was taken. How did it, how did a lot of us get over here to this land? The ship, the slave ship, transatlantic cargo slave ship. What's some other things that happened to us? Raped our women. Killed our men. Killed our men, yeah. Now, do you know that, that everything that you just named, you know that's in the Bible? Right. Bring it you know up. in the Bible? You know what? Give me Joel chapter 3. Because everything that you just said, they raped our women, all that stuff is in the Bible. That's up. how we know that we are the Israelites. That's right. Because the, when we look at the Bible, when we look at the look at our community, it's like, man, this Bible... This, this Bible that's been here all this time Because most of us don't read the Bible Or we go to a Christian church Where all they do is jump and holler all day Right I was told that the motherland Africa Uh-huh We were kings and queens Kings and queens Now, do you, the, now the motherland The motherland is Jerusalem Yes Which is in Israel When Israel is actually in Africa It's in the northeast corner of Africa Bring it out But Jerusalem is the motherland Right Read that. Yes. Joel chapter 3. Uh, yeah, let's read that. Verse 1. For behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. So it says in those days and that time. Right now we're living in those days and that time. Our forefathers that came before us, when they came over here 400 years ago, they, this is that time. He said he's going to bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. When you read, when you learn the Bible that Judah is talking about Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, and Jerusalem is talking about the other ten tribes. So the first three tribes on this chart are Judah. Right. The rest yeah. of them are Jerusalem. Read. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. This is going into when the Most High come and judge the nations, including us. Jeez. And he's going to bring all nations in the valley of Jehoshaphat. And the, and the valley of Jehoshaphat is what you're seeing going on in the Middle East. The, the, things, are already, the, the things are already starting to play out. Read. And will plead with them there. It says, it says he's going to plead with them there. What do you think that means when he say, I'm going to plead with them? Ask, plead. We're going we gonna to see what the Most High, when the Most High God say he's going to plead with you, we're going we gonna to get some clarity on what he means. Read. Will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel. So he said he's going to plead with them there for my people and my heritage, Israel. So now the real we're gonna come back to this. Let's see what he means when he said that he's gonna plead with them. Read. Isaiah chapter 66, verse 16. Bring it out. For by fire and by his sword. It says by fire and by his sword. What do you think that fire is? He said by fire and by his sword. Nope. Well the sword is the word, yes. But the fire, what is that fire talking about? He said by fire and by his sword. Read. And for by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. He said, and by fire and by the sword will he plead with all flesh. That fire is talking about thermal nuclear destruction. You ever yes. seen the movie Terminator? You ever seen, you remember that scene at the, was it at the beginning of the movie? Where the lady was standing on the gate and she seen the at the playground. She was looking at herself. She was looking at her old self. And the bombs dropped and the flames burnt, burnt, burnt the skin off her bones. Right. You remember that scene? Yep. Read that again. With, will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Read it, read it again from the top. For by fire and by his sword. That fire and by his sword meaning that's destruction. That, that fire is the thermonuclear warfare that's coming here. Bring it out. It's coming on these nations. The things that we're seeing, that's the starting level. The things we're seeing going on in the Middle East, that's the starting point. But he, that's how the, the Most High God plead with fire, with judgment. Right. He's going to judge the nations, and he's going to judge us if we don't get ourselves right. If we don't start back keeping his commandments and do what he told us to do. Read. With fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. And 
it says, the slain of the Lord shall be many. That, that lets you know that he's not coming to ask, hey, could you please keep my commandment? Hey, could you please get yourself right? No. He, he, when he come and plead, he putting you to death. Right. If you ain't doing it, if you ain't keeping the commandments, you ain't doing what he told you to do, yet the time is up. When he come, when he come to plead, time is up. Now you get put to death because he's going to say, I, I, I gave you an opportunity to repent. I gave you space to repent and change your ways. Go back to Joel. It's judgment. That fire, that plead, him pleading with us and pleading with the nations is judgment. That's right. Time is up. He's not asking. Yeah, wait, 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 go ahead. I'm going to let you finish. He's, yeah, he want us right now. He want us to clean up our ways. Get our act together. Get that and read that in Joel. Joel, How you chapter, doing, my brother? What's your name? I'm Pepsi. You listening? Okay, read. Joel, chapter 3, verse 2. I will also gather all nations. And will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. Uh -huh. And will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations. So he says he gonna plead with he gonna plead with them there for his for his people and his heritage, Israel, who they scattered among the nations. Who scattered amongst the nations? Everywhere you go, who who is in every place on this earth? We are. We everywhere. Bring it out. That show that letter. That's one sign that lets you know that we are the Israelites. Right. right. Because no matter where you go, we are there. Read. And parted my land. And parted my land. They parted his land. That's why right now you got the uh, the, the Israelis, which are not Israeli, Israeli right. fighting against the Palestinians. That's our land. That they 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 divided our land. Bring it out. Read. And they have cast lots for my people. He says they have cast lots for my people. What happened to us when we was in slavery? He said they cast lots for my people. You know, first off, do you know what it means to cast lots? We, that happened to us, but that's not what cast lots is going into. When you cast lots, that's talking about us being sold on those slave auction blocks. You, you familiar with that? When we got off, because you said we, you mentioned that we got came over here on slave ships. What happened to us when we got off those slave ships? And they had us what standing on the auction block, sold to, is it on? Yeah, I was looking for that. Like this right here. This is this is what to read that again in Joel. Joel chapter three verse three, and they have cast lots for my people. When you look at this sign here, what is this? What is this man doing to this this black man? You see, he got his hand on his face. He presenting them. He, he like, look at him. This good. This is good stock. Right. This was slavery. This was when they was, was casting lots on us. They were selling us to from city to city, state to state. Read. Joel chapter 3, verse 3. And they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for an harlot. It says they have given them a boy for an harlot. They were selling our young men as, as harlots, as hoes. Selling us for sex. Read. And have given a boy for an harlot and sold a girl for wine. And sold a girl for wine. So they was they was uh they were selling us for wine. Wine is ex is an exchange. They were sold selling us as hoes. That's why that's why this is one of the root reasons why today our young men don't settle down in the streets. We we sleeping from women to women to women to women. That was right. bred in us in slavery. Bring it out. That's not how we supposed to live. We wasn't living like that when they first brought us over here. But when they start stripping us and slaves, breeding us like they was breeding us like like animals, like cattle. Teach. They want this. They 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 pick the strongest the strongest male on the uh on the plantation. Now he sleep with all the women on the plantation, so they can have more. They can produce more fruit that'll be able to more more fruit out of that strong man that'll be able to pick the cotton. Pick the sugar to be in slavery. Read. And so they go for wine that they may drink. Uh huh. Yay. And what have you to do with me, O Tyree and Sidon? So he says, What have you to do with me, O Tyree and Sidon? Those are African nations. So it wasn't black, it wasn't black, so called black selling blacks. Israel wasn't selling Israel. It was the Africans selling the Israelites. Right. Read. And all the coast of Palestine. All the coast of Palestine. That's Ishmael. Because we also were in slavery under the Ishmaelites, the so-called Arabs. They had us in slavery too. That's the uh, the sub-Saharan slave trade. When you look at the bottom down here, that's the so-called Arabs having us in slavery. Right. In slavery. Read that again. 
Yeah, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon? The Africans, read. And all the coast of Palestine. The, is the Ishmaelites, which are the, Ara Ara the Arabians, read. Will ye render me a recompense? So he says, will you render me a recompense? Will you pay me? You, are you going to pay me back? Read. And if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily will I return your recompense upon your own head. So you think you're repaying me by taking my people and, and, and killing them, taking them into slavery, selling them into slavery? No, you know what? Quick, he said, quickly and speedily, I'm going to return your recompense on your head. What? Meaning the day is coming where the Most High is going to execute judgment on this land and all the nations that have oppressed us. Bring it up. Had us in oppression. What's your name, my brother? You ever heard this information before? What's your name? Bernard. Okay, read on. We're going to continue on. Don't go nowhere yet. Because Don't go yet. nowhere yet. Because we ain't finished answering the things that you brought out. Read. Because you have taken my silver and my gold. You have taken my silver and my gold. That's the nation of Israel. That's the, 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 the as we know, the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. Read. And have carried into your temples my goodly, pleasant thing. Uh huh. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians. It says the children of, come here. Now remember, we just read about, we read the, the, the Africans, which is Tyre and Sidon. The Palestinians with the Arabs. Read on. Read it again. Read that part again. The children of Judah, also of Judah, and the children of Jerusalem. The children of Judah are the first three tribes on this chart that you see. The, the Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Hey, and Jerusalem are the rest. Naphtali, Asher, uh, Gad, Zebulon. That's the rest of the tribes. Read. Right. Have you sold unto the Grecians? It says the, that you have sold unto the Grecians. Who are the Grecians? Do you know who the Grecians are? Do you know who the Grecians are? We are the strongest. We are the strongest. No, we wasn't. It ain't we were. We are. Right. We at the bottom, but we still the strongest nation. Right. We dominate everything that we that you anything that we in. We dominate it. Sports, everything. We dominate. But my brother with uh, what's your name again with the green shirt? Stewart. Stewart. Do you know who the Grecians are? The Grecians, read that verse again. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians. So the Grecians is the so-called white man. Right. It's the Greeks. So Cheech. it says the Tyre and Sidon, which is the Africans, when they brought us off, off the west coast of Africa, right. it was not blacks selling blacks. It was the Africans selling the Israelites to the so-called white man. Right. That's what this is talking about. We were sold not by our own people. No, our brothers didn't sell us. The Africans sold us. Right. You hear that? Africans. We not African. No, we are not African. We are not Africans. Give me the, somebody. Give me the Bible dictionary. Huh? We are the Israelites. That's what this is going into. We are the Israelites. Cause what I just read, who did those things happen to? What we just read, who did those things happen to? Who was sold unto the Grecians? Israelites. And then when you look at our history, it didn't that happen to us? So the Bible is our history book. Right. The things that's written in the Bible, it relates to us. It don't relate to no other nation on this earth. So when you go into the Christian church, you go into these churches, they got a white image of Jesus. That ain't us. And that's why a lot of, a lot of our people hate the Bible because when you, they don't see themselves in the Bible. Because when they go into church, it's all, you see white Jesus and all this stuff. And then you also see hypocrites that's not doing what the Bible say do. Right. So we hate the Bible, we turn away from the Bible. We read the Bible and we don't see ourselves in it. When our actuality, the Bible is talking about us. Right. This is our book, this is our history, this is our heritage. This is what we're supposed to be returning back to. That's why the marching ain't gonna work, yeah. voting ain't gonna work, ain't none of those things gonna work. We have to keep the commandments. We gotta do the thing that we never tried before. What we never tried is to keep the commandments. Let's read that, my brother. Uh, Stuart. Yes, sir. You had you just said we not Africans. Read that. This is a Zonovan Bible Compact Dictionary, page two one thirteen. Ham, the youngest son of Noah. So Ham, like the, the land of Africa used to be used to be called had the land of Ham. So Ham was one of the you had Ham, Shem, and Japheth. Read. The youngest son of Noah, born probably about ninety six years. Before the flood, uh -huh. and one of eight persons to live 
through the blood. Mm -hmm. He became the progenitor of the dark races. So it says Ham became the progenitor of the dark races. Progenitor is just another term. He's the four, he, he became the forefather of the dark races. Read. Not the Negroes. This is not the Negroes. Who are the Negroes? We are. Teach. And this, this is, this is. We didn't write this. It says he became the progenitor of the dark races, but not the Negroes. Read on. But the Egyptians. But the Egyptians. Who are the Egyptians? Africans. Read. Ethiopians. Ethiopians. Who are they? Africans. Read. Libyans. Libyans. Who are they? Africans. Right. Read. And Canaanites. And Canaanites. All African nations. So we are not the same people. We are not African. Bring it out. Just because we was brought, we, just because we brought over here off the west coast of Africa, we're not Africans. Right. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. The black, yes. the black man, the Hispanic man, the Native American Indian man, we are the Israelites according to the Bible. They used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.